Hey, we're about to walk into Orange Theory Fitness here in South Ogden. And so uh, as part of like a goal to try new things and, and new activities and fitness stuff uh, this year, we decided we were going to do like an honest review of some of these businesses and some of these, you know, fun things to do and and be able to share that with you guys of like what we thought of it from a clinician's point of view and from just Shannon's, an avid fitness yeah an avid fitness fan, fan. Yeah. yeah and so we've heard lots of good things about orange theory i have family members friends that love it so yeah give it a try today right and i have uh patients all the time that talk about how much they love how motivating it is and things like that so it keeps them coming back and back which i always say is one of the most important parts about fitness is doing something that you'll actually do and so yeah we thought we'd give it a try and we'll give you kind of our honest uh review of that so here we go wish us luck Okay, so here is our post Orange Theory interview. I don't know what we call this. Um, our recap of how we did at uh, Orange Theory. So it was fun. I, I had fun, yeah. Yeah, I had fun. a good time. It's. I would say it's not my like preferred way of wa working out just because I'm not always a social creature with exercise and stuff like that. I kind of like to do things at my own pace and my own like way at the same time. Like I really had a good time. It was fun. I was a little worried at first that I was overdoing it because I was like holy cow uh, my splat points are already going crazy but some of that was just uh, my Adderall medication made my heart rate higher so and then my but, heart rate wasn't working right. the first half and so I got zero splat points for the 30 minutes right and so be, uh, that was because they used because we were just guests we used the optical heart rate straps and you you can get like a chest strap instead um, and so I would recommend that we're huge fans of the the chest strap instead of the optical strap just because they're a little more finicky and not always as accurate things like that but it was it was really fun um, it was fun probably too intense for an everyday workout right wouldn't you say yeah I would say for most people that's gonna be well I, I would say for just about everybody that's too intense for an everyday workout but one to two times a week um, is is perfect depending on how much you're doing in your fitness effort if, if you're kind of a beginner fitness person once a week it's great uh, gets in that high intensity and helps you push forward um, if you're more of a you know moderate to advanced exerciser, um, twice a week is great. More than that, you may be pushing too hard too often, right. and you'll find fatigue and injury and stuff like that creep in. Um, but I didn't think there was anything like inappropriately hard. You're able to to like do it at your own pace, and and one of my concerns was the like the social pressure of um, like trying to keep up with other people and stuff like that. And it really, I didn't feel that anyway. Maybe it's because... I think you're so focused on your screen and like right. what your body's doing that you actually don't, it helps you not pay attention to what everybody else is doing. Right. Like you're trying to keep your heart rate in the green or the orange or the red. And so you're right. not really able to pay attention to what everybody else is doing. Right. And and then, I, and maybe as you got more used to it and you kind of were more oriented, you could be watching other people and you knew some of the other people in the class, you could probably be competitive, but that's that's likely going to happen anyway if you're a competitive person. So, um, but the coach was super helpful. Yeah. I think it'd be, I don't know if you guys are interested, but, um, like price, I always wonder like what, what does something like that cost? So we asked at the beginning, it's like 170 for a premium membership. That's like unlimited. Um, if you wanted to do like eight classes a month, which would be like two a week, two yeah. a week, which, which is, is good. What, kind of what we recommend. Yeah. Then it would be 109 a month. Yeah. And then, they have like a four times a month, which is like 70. Yeah, bucks. 70, 70, 70 bucks. And if couples sign up or you have like additional a people, $10 it's $10 discount. off. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it was fun. It was, yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was a good workout. A lot of variety. And that's the thing. Like if you go, you'll get a lot of different workouts. You don't have to think about them. They do it for you, which is nice. Mm -hmm. A lot of people love the social aspect. I don't particularly need that, but, um, but it's fun to do occasionally or, but, or, yeah even once a week if if like you like that or or things yeah. yeah 
Um, I thought the strength was challenging. It's maybe a little more cardio strength ish than than I prefer at the same time because you were kind of supersetting almost well, you're doing circuits it wasn't like you're you're trashing the same set of muscles over and over again so um, it yeah there was enough recovery for those muscles that it, that it wasn't bad and we were encouraged to lift heavy which we promote um, I'm sure there's different workouts for different things um, but I, I thought overall it was it was pretty solid um, one of the updates that they've made within the last year or two um, is something that I'm a big fan of is that their heart rate zones are adaptive so the more you show up to class and the more workouts you do um, it will update where your heart rate zones are and so they become more accurate to you which I think is awesome because that was one of my early kind of like hesitations with Orange Theory and recommending that to some of my patients and stuff is that the zones uh, were were based on averages and estimates and they had a good algorithm for calculating it but it could be really off for the individual so this where it dials it in for you as you go more um, I think that's great that that keeps it like safer and healthy and and helps you accomplish what you're hoping to accomplish by yeah going. it still is off like especially the this was the, the first, first yeah. time so and we know our heart rates super well because we test train that way right? yeah and so we yeah we train that way we we test like we test so we know exactly where they should be this I don't think will ever be exactly but but I know where it should be so right yeah so well and and that's one of the things that it's it's hard to like have it adapt to how you're feeling that day and other things like that but I, I would say especially for like the general public the algorithm uh, sounds like it's it's vastly improved and and pretty smart um, so I think that's a great improvement that's made me feel more comfortable when my patients say, yeah, I go to Orange Theory a ton. It's like, cool. I, you know, that's made me feel a lot more comfortable with it. So, um, my biggest recommendation for people is just make sure you take it at your own pace. Don't feel like you have to keep up exactly with the class. And we were encouraged to do that. Like if you need to take a break, there was one person that got a little lightheaded and she kind of had her take a time out and just relax and rest. Um, so I thought that was good that she was walking the floor and paying attention to everybody. Um, you know, one of the hard parts with group fitness is it's hard to watch everyone's form and make sure everybody's form is good and things like that. Um, but our coach was but, awesome. But I, she was I awesome. Really, yeah, I thought I really she did a good her. job. She was very helpful. Kristen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kristen. In South Ogden? Yep, she did a good job with, with that. Like, I think she tried to help as many people as she could. And I didn't see anything too, like, crazy. I, I'm sure she would have stepped in if there was anything, like, dangerous or, or whatever. So I saw her uh, correct a few people. A few people, and, right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And so I thought she did a really good job with that. Um, I, I was impressed, actually. Yep. So awesome. I would I would do it again. So there you go. Yeah, it's fun. Okay. Okay. Thanks so much. See ya. We'll see ya.